Hi, this is Thunder Yee from BorderWork.com and welcome to another battle vid. And today the battle is between Instagram apps, iOS and Android, to see which is the better app and if there are any differences or if it's just the same thing. So let's jump right in. First thing you notice is actually, even though I'm using my iPad here because I don't have an iPhone, and the Galaxy Note, which is technically the biggest Android phone I have right now. But anyway, the first thing you notice is uh, the app layout. It's similar and strictly the same. You do have the Instagram logo on top, although it's centralized in iOS and it's to the left on your um, Android app. Um, you do have your refresh button on the right hand side for both. Um, also, you do have your name and of course your photo or logo. In this case, it's Port at Work. First photo on my stream, of course, here is me just yelling out. And uh, you can see comments here. And on the differences here, you start noticing differences. On iOS, it says like and comment. On Android here, it just has the heart and has a comment box. Of course, you can expand that to share or delete. And here, if you hit that on iOS, it brings up a pop-up menu from below. It says shares delete, share, post, or copy URL. There is no copy URL option here on Android. That's one thing. Back. So you can see the feed's the same. Um, scrolling is a little smoother on iOS than it is on Android, but then again, that's just slightly here or there. Uh, if you go into popular, uh, you can see here um, you have your popular feeds, similar process. You can refresh. You can select and you, know, you can actually say we can jump in if we can find the same. So Lady with the Flower, we can jump in there. We can also hit on her and you can see, um, you know, it shows her photos, followers following. And we can decide to follow if we want to or not. And we head back, I always hit the back button here. And that's that. So now the next part is the camera. If you click on the camera apps on both, you notice the difference here. On iOS, it actually is integrated basically to the uh, camera's integrated into the application. So on iOS, set this aside for now. What you do have here, of course, uh, uh, you can switch to front-facing camera, my hands or the rear. Uh, you do have this teardrop feature that adds this cool effect. Um, you have the X out button. You have your camera. You can jump into gallery if you want to. So we can do that, or we can also bring up the effects so immediately we can actually bring up different effects switch to the front facing camera so you can actually see that here it's easier to to do we can switch effects on the fly and we can take a photo we want and boom done process um, hit OK we can process YouTube Facebook uh, put a caption and we're done and we'll do this here Battle vid from iOS uh, app. Send it out on Twitter. Done. So that's done and that's there. So that is on iOS. Now, on Android, sorry, slightly different. You hit the camera button, you have to select between camera and photos. So we can do photos like we did in the review, or we go into camera. In camera here, there are no integrated settings. You do have your regular camera settings, so you know uh, we can still switch front to back, but there are no integrated settings on the fly. So we do the same thing. We we'll take a photo, we we'll save it, and then we select a crop point, which you could do on the iOS one if we want. Accept, and now that takes us into our photo layout and we just can decide what we want to do here so we use this add more lighting you can take out the frame if you want to great because there's no menu button function go out to process Facebook on here I have my Facebook on here but Twitter and Facebook so um, what was my comment battle vid yes so Battle, battle vid from Android app. 
and that's pretty much it and we go upload and it should show up on screen. Now you can we can rate it of course this is just because I just downloaded the app and that's it so we have that there and you can see I have let me hit refresh here so we have this so I have the Android I have the iOS below I have something from a friend's feed here so on and so forth and then we can go here into of course favorites you can see following and news now this is news there's no news section there is you so I don't know what that populates yet but it hasn't published anything I guess maybe someone tags me in the photo um, and uh, this following you can see people are following me here uh, just added but if I go into that that actually shows it properly in news which I don't have that news segment and then you have your edit sharing here photos edit photos you like while with the Instagram app right here it's just options here so you do have your options in the left so um, they are pretty similar except a few things uh, one thing of course is the camera app itself it's more integrated in iOS it's not integrated in Android yet now which is better for now I would give the Android iOS app the edge because it does have this extra feature and also is fully integrated to cameras so you could actually use it so the winner right now is iOS but the Android app is very very close and it's still very good so if you have any questions in the comments let us know um, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on uh, Twitter Facebook YouTube it's all about to work with two O's so this is Thunder E saying thank you and also enjoy your entertainment and also don't forget to subscribe to Board Fam and hopefully you enjoy this battle of it. Thank you.